Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 live cast. For this one we're playing a TVT on uh, Lost and Found. So just going through the basics of our build order right now. Going Depot Racks Command Center. And then trying to set up in a way to deal with early Reapers. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. All right. 16 of 16. Next one's going to build the bunker. So it's orbital, marine, bunker, supply depot. Bunker. Fly Depot. One second Marine and a Gas Geyser. Command Center upgrade complete. Not One second Gas minutes. Geyser. Engineering bay when you can afford it. Not enough minerals. All right, more marine. Third gas as soon as that command center finishes. And now we're just kind of saving up for our gas stuff. It's going to be factory, minerals. high sec auto tracking, starport. Planetary, in that order. So I'm gonna move some SCVs to the low ground and keep them hotkey in case of cyclones so I can pull them quickly. Is that high sec auto tracking? Very late Reaper Scout. Planetary. Fourth gas a little early because we haven't got the turret ring yet. So let's kind of ignore that and just go turret ring. Research complete. Can you even tell this right? Or we'll just go there. Command center upgrade complete. Max supplies, let's get the command center. Not enough minerals. Yeah, we're basically good to go here. So 
the two workers. Attempt to establish ninja bases. Center upgrade complete. This Command center upgrade add on complete. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Acceptable landing zone. Uh, Nuclear launch detected. Detected. That 
to scan because uh I lose the detection, the missile turret dying. Insufficient Vespine gas. There's something in the way. Command center upgrade complete. Your forces are under attack. Command center upgrade complete. I don't see any nuke. Detected. Mineral field depleted. SCVs are under attack. Base is under attack. I can't build here. I can't build here. Command center upgrade complete. Base is under attack. Mm. Command center upgrade. Alright, maybe she came out on battle cruisers now. Base is under attack. Not enough minerals.
Research. Okay. Vespine Geyser existed. Not enough. Not enough minerals. Not enough add on energy. complete. Not enough minerals. Vespine Geyser exists. He got jumped. Vespine Geyser exhausted. Mineral field depleted. I need to find workers. Our SCVs are under attack. is under attack. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field depleted. Nuclear launch detected. Nuclear launch. 
Damage detected. I lost a lot, but he had to fly through all my auto turrets to do that, so I'm guessing he lost a lot too. Vespian Geyser exhausted. Vespine Geyser exhausted. Base is under attack. Command center upgrade complete. Mineral field depleted. Completed. Our SCVs are under attack. Mineral field depleted. Base is under attack. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field. Base. I ain't have that many. He lost more than I did for sure. I can't build here. Upgrade complete. Our SCVs are under attack. He 
not retreat it. What am I? Vespine geyser exhaust not enough energy. Upgrade not enough energy. Command center upgrade complete. Base is under I attack. Build here. Mineral field depleted. Base is under attack. Vespine geyser exhausted. Mineral field depleted. Base is under attack. I can't build here. Pretty sure I got this wrapped up. Mineral field depleted. Uh, I'm in a heap of trouble. Vestin Geyser exhausted. Base is under attack. Mineral field depleted. Field depleted. Command center upgrade complete. This <laughs> he kind of ran into his own secret missiles there. I did have too many ravens together there. Just asking to get EMP or anti armor missile, but worked out pretty well. It's kind of a weird game. I didn't want to do anything aggressive, but he went straight into nukes, which was. Uh, can't remember the last time I faced nukes that early in the game. And he took a very turtly stance. Like just took these initial five bases and really surrounded them with uh, missile turrets and SCVs and sorry, missile turrets and sensor towers and planetaries. Siege tanks. So if you have a siege tank in front of your planetary with vision given by missile turrets, it can deny nukes. But at the same time, nukes don't really trade efficiently, especially if you can... Uh, have ravens nearby to um, uh, 
to interference matrix and waste the nuke. I'm just saying you nuke where your battle cruisers are, and then when right before the nuke lands, you teleport out. That could actually work. So you want to Yamato and teleport away. We interference matrix the ones that are Yamatoing, and not only can they not Yamato, they also can't get away. So I think he killed one Raven, and I killed one battle cruiser, which is a win for me. Marines gonna take that. So I knew these guys couldn't get away. See, so now I'm more out tired than I am. But we both took pretty heavy losses there. Still 10k ahead though. I'm still mining my corner base, he's not mining his. The nuke costs gas, missile turrets don't, but if you nuke it down this many missile turrets, it's uh it's probably worth it. It's a lot of minerals worth. I feel like I didn't give Interference Matrix a fair shake when it comes to dealing with Battle Cruiser. I used to use it, like if I had BC Raven versus BCs, then I'd mix in the Interference Matrix. But maybe Ravens can just fight straight up. You can't really uh, Yamato and jump very well versus Matrix. Now if he denied this base and took the top corner, we would have a game. So I would be worried about that. So he does have full energy ravens here. So this is just about, I think I saw two that didn't have two seeker missiles. This is 14, 28, 26 Seeker missiles he has, or anti-armor missiles. But he's running through my auto turrets to cast them. So he lost, looks like, just about all 14 Ravens. Yeah, all 14. Same time we took heavy damage, lost about half our ravens, the other half are deep in the red. Kind of need to use them to support the bottom, but kind of <laughs> am scared too because of how low health they are right now. The idea was a slow push with planetaries and missile turrets towards this base. The 
didn't seem necessary though. Finally, I got some repair done on these guys. Now he still has the top left and the five o'clock base, but they're getting super dr or his army is super small right now, so it's gonna be very difficult for him to hold these orbitals. Taking shift, sending out ravens, and repairing the other ones. Well spread out ravens versus those seeker missiles. You can see he put three into the yellow. Completely not worth it. I don't know, scan myself, need to throw down some more command centers. But we can see by the bank here, and we can see by the map, that he has a lot of trouble. I've established a planetary in the base that should be his. The space is still... optimistic that he can actually get it going. That was pretty painful. A lot of auto turrets going down. But that was going to be the end of his Raven Cloud. And my Raven Cloud is still, I won't say it's healthy, <laughs> but it still exists. And of course, uh, I'm the one who's mining. So, 9k gas in the bank. Interesting game though. I feel like his defensive stance made it a little bit easier for me. Wow. When did that worker lead happen? He somehow took a 25 worker lead. I don't remember losing a ton of workers. Like I'm ahead by five right now. He just went five base. I mean, I guess I kind of did too with my two ninja bases, but never seen an opponent go five base this early, that's for sure. He did kill off five workers.
It's gonna be interesting to block it with the bunker so I can salvage. I think an inch bay would make more incomplete inch bay would make more sense though. Cancelling is faster than salvaging and you get more hit points. So unless you actually want to put marines in that bunker, I don't think that actually makes sense. Anyways, he is throwing out extra command centers. But he's not really expanding, so... He's stuck on this gas count. And, um... He's building nukes and battle cruisers. Which didn't really get the job done. Don't like those sensor towers, though. I felt like every time I was attacking in, I was at threat of getting wrecked because of uh, having to fly through a sensor tower area. The good thing about your opponent making sensor towers though is it costs gas, so if you can kill the sensor tower, then um, then he has to spend another 100 gas to replace it. I feel like I could have taken this base a lot earlier. Like the sort of defensive stance he took, he could have just spread it another half screen over. You know, have some command centers up here and missile turrets and whatnot, and then you can spread down that way. Siege tanks. Anyways, with that, we'll call it the end of this video. Thank you everyone for tuning in, and I'm out of here. Goodbye.